Throughout the expansive northern hemisphere, the Arctic's deep permafrost is melting quickly. There's uncertainty about what unknown diseases might be released from the vast amounts of thawing permafrost. The concern is heightened when considering the discovery of viruses that predate Homo sapiens, who appeared about 300,000 years ago. Neanderthal fossils, which are older than Homo sapiens and date back 430,000 years, raise the question. What if viruses from the time of Neanderthals start spreading worldwide? Evidence suggests that the mingling of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens led to some genetic transfer that helped deal with certain diseases. Neanderthal genetic material makes up about 2% to 3% of modern human DNA in people mostly from Europe and some parts of Asia. Yet this doesn't imply immunity to ancient viruses. The secrets hidden within the permafrost, accumulated over many generations, are still unknown. A recent The Guardian article dated January 21st, 2024, focuses on this topic, Arctic zombie viruses in Siberia could unleash a frightening new pandemic, warn scientists. There's a real risk that zombie viruses could surface due to the melting permafrost exacerbated by global warming. The Arctic is heating up two to four times faster than the rest of the world. The American Arctic permafrost, covering 85% of Alaska, has been frozen for over 500,000 years, extending up to 1,000 feet deep. In the Arctic, the deepest permafrost goes down to 4,900 feet. According to the Nature Journal, the Arctic permafrost contains nearly 1,700 billion metric tons of frozen carbon. For context, global annual CO2 emissions are about 37 to 15 billion metric tons, as reported by Statista. Thus, the permafrost holds the equivalent of 46 years' worth of current CO2 emissions. Scientists are likely losing sleep over how much carbon emissions the melting permafrost will add to those from agriculture, industry, and transportation, potentially leading to a severely disrupted climate affecting society. For the first time in hundreds of thousands of years, and driven by intense human-made greenhouse gas emissions, permafrost is rapidly thawing as we enter the 21st century. This puts modern society at risk of encountering ancient organic matter, massive amounts of greenhouse gases like CO2 and CH4, and numerous prehistoric viruses and bacteria. It's a vast, unexplored ancient world, hidden in icy depths, now revealing itself. The most ancient permafrost, studied by researchers located near Batagay in eastern Siberia, extends down to 50 meters, about 165 feet, and is estimated to be 650,000 years old. This discovery was made by an international team from Germany, Russia, and England, led by Julian Merton from the University of Sussex, as reported in the Arctic Business Journal on June 22, 2021. The limited research on permafrost contributes to significant anxiety, often referred to as the research gap. This gap encompasses firstly an incomplete understanding of the potentially harmful microbes in the permafrost, then uncertainty about which microbes might survive the freeze-thaw cycles, and also questions about whether plants and humans could be infected by ancient microbes. The extent of this unknown territory is vast, leaving humanity vulnerable to whatever emerges from the thawing permafrost. There's a concern whether a pathogen, dormant for thousands of years, could severely impact modern society or specific regions. The threat posed by ancient viruses to humans is potentially greater than that of known pathogens, as modern humans are unlikely to have natural immunity against prehistoric viral infections. This lack of preparedness could leave society vulnerable to unforeseen challenges. In response, scientists are striving to set up an Arctic monitoring network for the early detection of these ancient zombie viruses. This initiative is a direct consequence of excessive human-induced global warming. The Arctic, warming at a rate two to four times faster than the rest of the planet, is revealing a hidden world of ancient viruses. The world is unprepared for this unfolding scenario. The melting permafrost, a vast and under-researched phenomenon, presents potentially one of the biggest challenges to humankind with unpredictable outcomes lying ahead. Highlighting this concern, 
the French National Center for Scientific Research has uncovered 13 ancient viruses in permafrost, including the 48,000-year-old Pandora virus, as reported by CNN World on March 8, 2023. The Pandora virus exhibits distinctive symptoms, making an infected individual easily identifiable. Jean-Michel Clavery, a renowned French virologist, warns of the potentially disastrous consequences of an infection from an ancient, unknown pathogen affecting humans, animals, or plants. His concerns are detailed in a 2022 study highlighted by Bloomberg News on October 9, 2023. The melting Arctic permafrost poses a dual threat beyond just the emergence of ancient viruses. In the article Alaska's Scary Orange Rivers, published on December 29, 2023, a concerning environmental phenomenon in Alaska is highlighted. The wilderness rivers of Alaska are undergoing a dramatic change, turning orange as the thawing permafrost exposes toxic substances. Researchers on the ground have made alarming findings that the rivers show extremely low levels of dissolved oxygen. They have pH levels up to 100 times more acidic than normal, and their electrical conductivity is comparable to that of industrial wastewater, a startling condition for what should be pristine wilderness areas. Moreover, a team of scientists in Alaska's Kobuk Valley National Park discovered areas in the soil that appeared blackened and tar-like, akin to fresh asphalt a stark contrast to the usually untouched landscape of the Brooks Range. The water flowing from these blackened patches through small streams exhibited pH levels as acidic as vinegar. When wilderness parks, which are typically bastions of natural purity, become toxic, it reflects a deeply troubling trend. The implications of this situation are vast, especially considering that 25% of the Northern Hemisphere's exposed land surface is covered by rapidly melting permafrost. This permafrost contains not only toxic industrial substances, but also ancient viruses and bacteria accumulated over thousands of years. In a significant scientific effort, a group of researchers undertook the first ever comprehensive sampling of an entire watershed during a six-day mission in a region of Alaska often referred to as the final frontier. Their observations were stark, where once clear waters flowed over rocks, now murky, orange-tinged waters prevailed, devoid of fish. Their research is only beginning to unravel the complexities of what's happening in the Arctic. The full extent of what's occurring across the 25% of the northern hemisphere covered by permafrost remains largely unknown and unpredictable. The scenario of an unknown virus once infecting a Neanderthal coming back at us, although unlikely, has become a real possibility. If these issues are sidelined, the consequences could be dire, potentially reaching a point of no return. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.